Hey dude, it's Thub, and today I've got something a little different for you. Although, different is becoming pretty normal, so maybe, maybe it's just a normal day. I have a lot of shoes that I found. And they're in okay condition, but they're a little dirty, so before anybody will really love them, I think they're gonna need a little love. We got a whole bunch of Nikes, we got these Adidas, we got uh, a bunch of DCs and a whole bunch of other, you can't see this, and a bunch of other whatever shoes. I'm actually really excited just to try fixing these ones up, but that is paint, might be permanent, but we're gonna find out. Now I'm gonna choose a couple to focus on and see how far we get. Um, it's pretty windy, so I hope the, it doesn't mess up the sound, but it's a gorgeous day, so I didn't want to do this inside. I'm gonna start with these ones because I think they've got the most potential, and I wouldn't mind clocking in an easy win right away. They are that new buck material, and I don't actually have a suede brush, but I have a series of brushes, so I think I should be able to make something out of these. Let's give it a go. Apparently, you gotta remove the laces, that makes it easier, so I guess I'll do that. All right, no laces. Give this one a go. I'm gonna start with a softer brush. Nah, softer brush sucks. I think I like the veggie brush most of all. Now, I'm gonna try the steam clean. I hear the correct way to get creases out is to steam them, but first you need to stuff the toe. You wanna stuff it real good. I'm just gonna keep stuffing. Because I kinda wanna do this ankle part as well. I guess we'll just have to see how she goes. Now, I've got this here. Shark steam cleaner. And I am gonna wear a heavy leather glove so I don't scorch myself. So far, this seems to be going pretty good. I am gonna switch to the softer brush for doing the upper. Not bad. I'm get rid of a bit of this excess water. I'd say that's looking fine as heck. Gonna stuff the ankle extra good. Using soap might be foolish. But in my experience, <coughs> when you clean or something, you use soap. Now, if everything went well, I didn't just destroy this shoe with my steam cleaning. Now we're just gonna let that one dry in the sun. And we'll compare it to the first one. Next, I wanna try these suede DCs. All right, now we're gonna see what we can accomplish with these suede ones, now that I have the uh, laces out. So, start with a softer brush, loosen up the dirt. That doesn't work great. Then we'll stuff the toe box. Against my better judgment and better knowledge, I am going to use water on these because they're just so covered in water spots and mud. And hopefully I can soften them up afterwards. We'll just have to see. I've actually got another trick up my sleeve. This is a spot cleaner. Unfortunately, it's not working proper, but it should work well enough as a wet vacuum. Reasonably good job on the tongue. You know, it might help a lot is a little soap. All right. Well, that definitely took a lot of the green off. Looking real good. So now let's take a risk on that suede. I'm done, I just didn't want to leave the water on there for any longer than I had. I'm 
gonna do something real bold and use a little soap. Probably the best I'm going to be able to do for these ones. <clears throat> kind of stick them in the sun, let them dry, and see how we end up. I know if there's any sneakerheads watching, they're going to be shaking their heads and saying, You ruined it, man. You can't do that to suede. I know. But they were already ruined. I'm just doing the best I can. So we'll see how bad it is. Now, for something real fun, I want to try this one. The one with all the paint. Because I don't know if that's gonna work. But I am gonna find out. It's all new book, too, so we'll see. Alright, I could have updated you guys earlier, but I'm updating you now. The shoes have dried. Let's have a look and see how they turned out. So this one doesn't show it the greatest, but I definitely think you can tell. I mean, they were in decent shape in the first place, but the purple is definitely a lot brighter. The blacks are a lot blacker. And I got a bunch of the wrinkles out. The toe box looks pretty good. All in all, happy with the results. Now, the suede. Yes. I mean, obviously this makes the biggest pop. And they still look a little grimy, but that red is definitely a lot more fun now. And that toe box, though, way nicer. Oh yeah, and these things clean up real good, too. Not bad, pretty pleased with it. Now, these ones. Yes, you can see the difference. Definitely a lot brighter now. And I might be wasting my time with these because of the white paint. But I think the white paint makes them cool. And I might be able to find somebody who thinks the same thing. Now that I've run through this process a couple times, I feel like I've kind of figured out a system that works for me as far as the most efficient way to go through a shoe. So let me do that on this shoe. I'll take you guys along and then we'll all be on the same page. After the laces are more or less out, I left these ones in because I don't really want to disturb the paint. We'll start with the inside because we've got access right now. Get your steam on and get that filthy water out. Now the inside looks pretty good. Quick check of the sides. So we've got a bit of stuff on the side, so I'm gonna clean that up. Now we're gonna clean the tongue. That's got a bunch of nubuck on the top. What I found works is hit it with the steam first. I call it a pre-soak just to loosen it up. Get a little bit of regular old dish soap. And then scrub it. I'm just using a you know dish scrubby from IKEA. Then give her a real good steam. and then suck all that filthy water out of there. That's pretty good. I'm still going to give it a quick spot clean in a couple areas. I am going to spend a little time steaming the inside here, but not much because it's not bad. Now that I'm pretty happy with the inside of the shoe, I'm going to stuff it so we can restore the shape. Then, I'm just going to take a piece of wire from a charging cord. It doesn't have to be wire, I just have this stuff laying around. And they'll tie it up so it holds its shape. There. Not bad. Now I'm going to work on the bottom of the shoe so I don't have to deal with all of that mud on my workspace after. I stepped away for a second to use a dart to pick out all of the things from the tread on the bottom of the shoe because eh, the steam cleaner just wasn't doing it for me fast enough. Now, back to steam. All right, I'm pretty happy with where we've gotten with that. I mean, no matter what we do, it's still the sole of a shoe, so eh, I'm not, I'd like it to look new, but it's pretty good where it is. Now I'm gonna take my soapy toothbrush and get all along the bottom here. Hit that with a quick steam. Looking pretty good. Glad I'm doing this outside. Now I'm gonna do one side, then the other side. Same method. It's 
steam. Get rid of the water. Looking pretty good. Now, same system on the other side. Now we're gonna do the heel and the toe box using the same method, but I'm gonna pay special attention to where the creases are. After I've got all the dirt cleaned off, I'm gonna steam those really well so they can form back into the shape of the shoe, which is why I've tied it so tightly like this. Now we can see some results. I would say pretty happy with how this turned out. Yes, it does still have a bunch of white paint, but I think it's supposed to be there. Now, I'm gonna complete the rest of them and then show you guys where we end up. I ran into a problem last night. I was working really hard at cleaning shoes and the steamer decided to stop working. So I filled it with half CLR and half water, like the internet. Bad. It is too bad. Like the internet told me to do. And uh, now we're gonna see if that worked. That didn't work at all. Decided removing these and washing them in the sink was the easiest way. I kinda want the shoelaces to be a little cleaner too, but that's a pretty simple method. Just gonna get them wet and a little dish soap. And then hang them somewhere to dry, hopefully flat. Now these ones have a couple loose threads, but I got a simple fix for that. Looking way better. Fresh. Now this pair here is missing a bunch of its aglets, or at least they're really damaged. And I don't have any replacements, so... I'm gonna do a little experiment with some heat shrink tubing. There we are. Far from perfect, but kind of unique, and they should work. Well, after all that, I'd say these turned out pretty good for free. It was a fair amount of effort, and I would have done a lot more if my steam cleaner hadn't kicked the bucket. Hopefully I can figure that out, because it was really useful. And I did a much better job than I would have been able to without it. The new buck material actually turns out pretty good with a little bit of soap and water, as long as you let it dry and don't go at it too hard with a brush. And the same as the suede. I mean, you wouldn't want to clean a brand new pair of shoes, or new-ish like that, uh, because you would be destroying the suede, but when they're already at this state, you've really got nothing to lose, and I think they still turned out great. I hope my friends in Cuba like them. But we're gonna go find out in person. Yes, that's right! I'm going back! When? Right now. But don't you worry, I've actually scheduled a couple videos to, to tide you guys over until I get back. You can look forward to those on Wednesdays and Fridays, and I'll let you know as soon as I get back. With more adventures and fun to share. You might be wondering why, and I suppose that's a fair question. There's a lot of different reasons, but the most important one is this. I told them I would. So you leave it better than you found it and keep doing the thing. I'll see you when I get back.